this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use and set up your iPad right out of the box from start to finish. I'm going to walk you through how basically from the point that you turn the device on for the very first time and walk you through the setup screens and how to configure your Apple ID, uh, iTunes, basically get you started with using your iPad. Um, to do that, I'd like you to start by opening, uh, taking your iPad out of the box, uh, take off all the cellophane and packaging material, and basically look at the device facing you and um, in, in portrait mode. And look at the top, you'll see you've got your, your um, headphone jack, you've got your power, power and wake button at the top of the iPad, and on the right side you've got your the little rocker that basically can be set up to mute the device or to lock your screen orientation from rotating. Below that you've got your volume rocker, volume up and down, and on the bottom of the device you've got your, um, your plug port for uh, either the lightning connector or the 30 pin connector depending on which iPad you have. Um, I'm using an iPad Air which is the current model at the time of this video. Um, on the face of the device you've only got one button and we're gonna call that button the home button that's basically what Apple calls it. Um, so go ahead and push the power button on the top of your iPad to get started. Um, you'll see the Apple logo appear on your iPad and it's gonna start booting up. Now this video is not really meant for people that are tech savvy and know how to use iPads and iPhones and other smartphone devices. This video is basically for the basic user that has never used a device before. Uh, maybe you got your uh, grandmother a device or your mom or somebody that, that really has no understanding or knowledge of how to operate this equipment. So it's going to be very basic. If you're an advanced user, this video is not for you. So once your iPad comes online or boots up, the first screen you're going to see is this screen here. We're going to go ahead and slide that over. And then you're going to choose your language and your region. Okay, and it's going to right away, it's going to start scanning for Wi Fi networks in the area. Now, as you can see in the top left of my screen, I've got an LTE signal up in this corner here. Now, this because this iPad is um, it has Wi-Fi capabilities through my cell phone provider. Now, that is a different iPad altogether from the one that's Wi-Fi only. Um, this one has LTE bands for AT&T, but there's they have them for Verizon and Sprint also, and that's a monthly fee. Now, if you don't see that then you probably have the Wi-Fi only which is fine for for this video and the, it's not really gonna make a difference which one you have so what we're gonna do is if you have a Wi-Fi network available um, go ahead and select it and put in your password okay, we can join our Wi-Fi network And that's going to take you to the next screen. Now you can either enable location services or disable them. Basically, this allows your iPad to use GPS functionality um, and other apps that are that are on that you're going to load on your iPad that will help you determine where you're at. Um, if you're a little paranoid about people knowing your location, you can turn this off. Be honest with you, they can probably find you anyway if they want if somebody really wanted to. But um, for this demonstration, we're going to enable it, and we're going to set this up as a new iPad because we're going to assume that if you're watching this video, you've never used an iPad before. All right, now this goes through the setting up of your Apple ID. If you already have one then you can go ahead and push the top where it says sign in with your Apple ID. If you don't, and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to say that I don't have one and I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to set one up. Or you don't have to do this right now. You can skip the step, you can go back later and reconfigure this part uh, in the settings. 
Um, but for this video, I think we should just start from scratch here. Like we've got a new setup, and we're going to go ahead and create the Apple ID. Um, the Apple ID allows you to download applications from the App Store and also communicate. And it basically says this right below, right here. It basically, basically explains what the Apple ID does. And if you want, you can read these and um, take as much time as you'd like on that. But we're going to go ahead and move forward here. So we're going to create an Apple ID. So we've got to set our birth date. Now I'm just going to use a generic one. Let's just say May 2nd. I believe you have to be 18, so I'm just going to go to 1982 here. Call this Rivix Media. All right, now you can set up an email address through iCloud if you'd like. Um, I'm going to assume that you at least have an email address. Um, if you do not, you can create a free email address either using the iCloud here or you can also go to outlook.com or hotmail or gmail or yahoo or any of those uh, free email providers and create your own email address uh, but i've already i already have one set up so i'm going to use the current email address that i have all right and that is Now the resolution that you're seeing here uh, is going to get better. I can't use um, the real good capturing tool currently because I, I need to connect to my Wi-Fi and set up the air, AirPlay and stuff first. But for now it's a little bit um, blurry, but it's going to clear up here shortly. So this, we've filled in our email address. Okay, now you're going to create your Apple ID password and that has to be somewhat challenging so use some information use somebody's name and maybe change the characters the a to the at symbol or the exclamation point uses an i or something to that effect um, and go ahead and set up your password okay and once you have your password entered Go ahead and continue by clicking next or pushing next on the screen. And now it's going to ask a series of questions, and you can fill these in. Um, basically, this is in the event that you lose your password. Uh, this they'll ask you these questions when you go onto the website to reset your password. So I'm going to go do that now. All right, now that you have those questions filled in. We're going to hit next again. Now this is another email that you may have um, in the event that it needs to reset your password. They can verify that you've got another account that they can send to. And this is optional. So I'm going to skip this part for now. And you can too if you'd like or you can put in another email address if you have one. Okay, now this is asking you if you would like to stay current with software, Apple News. Uh, basically, it's marketing stuff. I always turn this off, but you can, if you want to receive updates through your email, you can. I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to move forward. Okay, now this is just going to, basically, it's going to go through all the terms and conditions required to use the iPad. You can send it to yourself via email by pushing here. Uh, or you can read it if you'd like. It's very long, and it, you can't use the device unless you agree. So, I mean, there's really no choice here. So, you, you got to push agree. And it's going to ask you again. Push agree again. Okay, now it's going to create your new Apple ID. Okay, 
And this is going to ask you if you want to use iCloud or don't use iCloud. Now you can see below it, it says what is iCloud. So if you'd like to know more about what iCloud is, um, you can read you can um, read about iCloud by pushing there. Um, basically, it backs up your stuff to the internet uh, on Apple's servers. You can back up your photos, uh, your music, your contacts, counters. Um, basically, what it says there. Um, they give you, I believe, it's five gigs of storage for free. Um, you can pay for more storage. It's really convenient. Uh, if you want to not ever worry about backing your iPad up to a local computer, um, you don't have to worry about plugging it in because iCloud, it will automatically back up all of your apps, any music or photos that you have. And photos is probably the biggest one. Um, people are people don't want to lose their photos. Um, if you if you plan on taking pictures with your iPad, you might want to back them up to the iCloud. Um, or you can back up the entire device. That way, in the event you lost your iPad, it got damaged, completely completely ruined, you could go out to the store, buy a new iPad, run through this setup again, and log in with your Apple ID, and basically it will restore your iPad just as it was the last time it was working. Um, you can also do that by backing up to your computer through iTunes, and I'll show you how to do that uh, shortly here. Um, we're going to just say use iCloud for now. We may not use it. You can select it. You don't have to really use it if you don't want to. Um, find my iPad is a feature that allows you to locate your iPad if you've lost it. Uh, it'll find the, it'll activate the GPS on the device and um, you can lock it. You can erase it remotely uh, if you'd like. But you can you can read a little bit more about that. I'm just going to skip ahead. I'm going to use Find My iPad just because I like that. Okay, now set up email. This is where you can set up your iCloud account. Um, I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to skip I'll skip this part for now just so I can move along and get us to the home screen so we can start working on the iPad. Uh, creating a passcode. A four-digit code that you have to enter every time you unlock the iPad and want to use it. Um, I recommend you doing this just because if you lost the iPad, it makes it that much harder for someone to get into the device and use all of your data that's on there. Um, if you, I believe there's a new iPad coming out that'll have a Touch ID, which is basically like the the iPhone 5S, um, where it'll use your fingerprint as well. So it makes it a little bit easier, but um, for this video, I'm not going to add the the uh, passcode because it just takes too much time. So I'm going to hit don't add, and then it's going to ask you, are you sure you don't? Yes. We're going to continue. Okay, now Siri, I'm sure that you've probably heard about Siri. Siri is your digital assistant. Uh, allows you to ask for things uh, like, where is the nearest pizza place near me? And it will go out to the internet and use GPS to find your location and uh, find the closest Pizza Hut or wherever it is that is near you. Um, you can also ask it for sports scores for certain games or what is the weather going to be like tomorrow or navigate me to a certain address. Um, I would recommend using Surrey just because it is very convenient. Um, it helps you with directions and so forth. So we're going to use Siri. Now diagnostics, again, this is up to you. Uh, it'll send diagnostic codes or uh, things to Apple. And you can read below about this. I'm not going to spend time explaining it. So you can either send or don't send. All right, so now we're finally to the welcome screen after all of that, and we can push Get Started and get started using our iPad.